discussion of cardiology multiple choice questions ischemic preconditioning is mediated by 1 atp sensitive potassium channel katp 2 sodium channel 3 ikr the rapid component of delayed rectifier potassium current 4 alt type calcium channel correct answer 1 atp sensitive potassium channel blockers of atp sensitive potassium channel like glyben clamide can prevent ischemic reconditioning k atp channel opener nicrandil can mimic ischemic preconditioning and it is known as pharmacological preconditioning stimulation of adenosine receptors is known to simulate ischemic preconditioning first percutaneous intervention for a regurgitant lesion in humans was for 1 aortic regurgitation 2 mitral regurgitation 3 pulmonary regurgitation 4 tricuspid regurgitation correct answer 4 pulmonary regurgitation bonhoeffer and colleagues described the development of a system for percutaneous stent implantation combined with wall replacement for right ventricle to pulmonary artery prosthetic conduit with wall dysfunction in 2000 Which of the following is not a feature of pulmonary hypertension on pulmonary wall MOD echocardiogram? One flat EF slope, two shallow A wave, three deep A wave, four mid systolic notch. Correct answer: three deep A wave. Deep A wave is seen in pulmonary stenosis. All other features are of pulmonary hypertension on MOD echocardiogram. pulmonary valve m mode echocardiogram in pulmonary hypertension showing flat ef slope and a shallow a wave feature of mitral stenosis on m mode echocardiogram one flat ef slope two absent a wave three paradoxical anterior movement of posterior mitral leaflet four all of the above correct answer four all of the above Here is an M mode echocardiogram in severe mitral stenosis with flat EF slope, absent A wave, and paradoxical anterior movement of posterior leaflet. Another M mode echocardiogram showing reduced EF slope, absent A wave, and paradoxical anterior movement of posterior mitral leaflet in mitral stenosis. Which coronary vein is important in the genesis of atrial fibrillation? One great cardiac vein, two oblique vein of Marshall, three middle cardiac vein, four small cardiac vein. Correct answer: two oblique vein of Marshall. Oblique vein of Marshall, also known as oblique vein of left atrium, can give rise to atrial fibrillation. Three reasons described are: the myocardial extensions into the structure, node-like remnants within the vein. and the rich autonomic innervation surrounding it valve at the ostium of coronary sinus is known as one the bcn valve two vucens valve three eustachian valve four none of the above correct answer one the bcn valve valve at the ostium of the posterolateral vein at the junction of the great cardiac vein and coronary sinus is called vucens valve Eustachian valve is at the ostium of the inferior vena cava which directs blood to the foramen of veil in fetal life greatest sensitivity for st elevation in right ventricular infarction is for st elevation in 1 v1 2 v2 3 v3r 4 v4r correct answer 4 v4r ST elevation of 1 mm or more in V4R had the greatest sensitivity of 93% and predictive accuracy of 93% for right ventricular myocardial infarction which of the following is not a usual clinical finding in right ventricular infarction one elevated jugular venous pressure two positive kusmal sign three hypotension four basal crepitation Correct answer for basal crepitation. Lung fields are usually clear in right ventricular infarction despite elevated jugular venous pressure. This is because the pulmonary capillary pressure is usually low 
due to reduced right ventricular output and left ventricular preload. Which of the following is an innocent murmur? 1. Gibson's murmur 2. Rogers murmur 3. Stills murmur 4. Dogs murmur Correct answer 3. Stills murmur Stills murmur was described by George Frederick Still in 1909. This is a low pitched murmur heard in the lower left sternal area. It is best heard with the bell of the stethoscope. Stills murmur is a mid systolic murmur, loudest in supine position and diminishes in intensity on sitting and standing as venous return decreases. Gibson's murmur is a train in tunnel murmur or missionary murmur of patent ductus arteriosus. Roger's murmur or Brui de Roger is heard in small ventricular septal defect. Dog's murmur is due to stenosis of left anterior descending coronary artery. Which of the following is not a feature of postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome or POTS? 1. Heart rate increase 30 beats or more per minute from supine to standing. 2. Symptoms get worse with lying down and better on standing. 3. Palpitation and lightheadedness. 4. Dependent acrocyanosis. Correct answer. 2. Symptoms get worse with lying down and better on standing. In pods, symptoms get worse with standing and better on lying down. Dependent acrocyanosis is a striking physical finding which occurs in 40 to 50 percent of patients. A dark red blue discoloration of legs which are cold to touch can be seen. Bradycardia in dash face of Valsalva manoeuvre can be easily appreciated by feeling the pulse. 1. Phase 1 2. Phase 2 3. Phase 3 4. Phase 4 Correct answer 4. Phase 4 Venous return decreases during the strain phase and reduces blood pressure which triggers baroreceptor mediated increase in heart rate. After cessation of straining, there is abrupt reversal resulting in overshoot of arterial pressure which is known as Valsalva overshoot. This leads to baroreceptor mediated bradycardia. Finally, the hemodynamic changes return to basal levels. While feeling the pulse during a Valsalva maneuver, it is easy to appreciate the bradycardia during phase 4. An indexed aortic prosthetic valve orifice area dash corresponds to severe stenosis in patient prosthesis mismatch and needs reoperation. 1. Less than or equal to 0.6 square centimeter per square meter. 2. Less than or equal to 0.7 square centimeter per square meter. 3. Less than or equal to 0.8 square centimeter per square meter. 4. Less than or equal to 0.9 square centimeter per square meter. Correct answer 1. Less than or equal to 0.6 square centimeter per square meter. Indexed orifice area of an aortic prosthetic wall should be more than 0.85 square centimeter per meter squared to avoid significant gradient at rest and exercise. Patient prosthesis mismatch is an important cause of increased transvalva gradient detected by Doppler echocardiography. Effective orifice area of an aortic prosthetic wall may be too small in relation to patient's body surface area and can result in abnormally high gradients. Wrong statement in relation to left ventricular remodeling. One, central pathophysiological mechanism in advancing heart failure. 2. Reversal of remodeling with treatment is an important goal in the management of heart failure. 3. As the ventricular shape becomes spherical, performance improves. 4. Remodeling is initially beneficial as the force of contraction increases. Correct answer. 3. As the ventricular shape becomes spherical, performance improves. Increase in left ventricular volume is initially beneficial as the force of contraction increases according to Starling's law. Volume overload hypertrophy occurs in the non-infarcted segments. But as the left ventricle assumes a spherical shape later, it leads to decline in performance. 
left ventricular cavity was more spherical in those with poorer survival in a study. Coarctation of aorta can be best visualized in dash view on echocardiography. 1. Parasternal long axis view. 2. Parasternal short axis view. 3. Apical four chamber view. 4. Suprasternal view. Correct answer 4. Suprasternal view. Suprasternal view is the standard view for visualizing arch of aorta and proximal part of descending aorta and hence the view for visualization of coarctation of aorta. Suprasternal view visualizing arch of aorta and proximal descending aorta. No coarctation is seen in this case. Three dimensional orientation of the echo beam is not exact in the diagram. Effects of underwater or aquatic treadmill exercise does not include 1. Useful for senior citizens to avoid the risk of falls and musculoskeletal stress. 2. Useful for obese individuals and those with issues of mobility. 3. Increases in heart rate, BP and rate pressure product are lower with underwater treadmill. 4. There is redistribution of blood volume from thoracic cavity to the lower limbs. Correct answer 4. There is redistribution of blood volume from thoracic cavity to the lower limbs. Cardiovascular changes occurring during immersions have to be considered. There is a redistribution of blood volume from lower limbs to the thoracic cavity. Increases in blood pressure, heart rate and rate pressure product are lower with underwater treadmill walking as compared to walking on a land treadmill. Wrong statement about H2FPEF score for differentiation of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction from non-cardiac causes of dyspnea. 1. Has clinical and echocardiographic parameters. 2. Highest number of points is for age. 3. Total score ranges from 0 to 9. 4. Odds of HFPEF doubled for each one unit increase in H2FPEF score. Correct answer 3. Highest number of points is for age. F. Atrial fibrillation. Paroxysmal or persistent. 3 points is the highest score. E. Elder. Age above 60 years has only 1 point. Other parameters are as follows. H2. Heavy. Body mass index more than 30 kg per meter squared. 2 points. Hypertensive. More than or equal to two antihypertensive medications, one point. P. Pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary artery systolic pressure estimated by Doppler echocardiography, more than 35 millimeters of mercury, one point. F. Filling pressure. Doppler echocardiographic E by E prime, more than nine, one point. The author suggested that low H2 FPEF scores of zero or one can be used to effectively rule out the disease while scores of 6 to 9 can be used to make a diagnosis of HFPEF with good confidence. Intermediate scores of 2 to 5 would call for additional testing. Which of the following is not a drug used for metabolic modulation in heart failure? 1. Trimethicidine 2. Ranolazine 3. Perhexylene 4. Sacubitril Valsartan Correct answer 4. Sacubitril Valsartan Sacubitril Valsartan is an angiotensin receptor neprilysin inhibitor. Trimethacidine is a 3 keto acyl coenzyme A thiolase inhibitor, while ranolysin inhibits the late sodium current. Perhexylin inhibits carnitine palmitoyl transferase. Latter three are metabolic modulators while sacubitril valsartan is a hemodynamic modulator in heart failure. Fleischner's sign is 1. Prominent central pulmonary artery in acute massive pulmonary embolism. 2. Partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage to inferior vena cava. 3. Supracardiac shadow in total anomalous pulmonary venous drainage. 4. None of the above. Correct answer 1. Prominent central pulmonary artery in acute massive pulmonary embolism. Partial anomalous pulmonary venous drainage to inferior vena cava seen on chest x-ray is scimitar sign. 
supra cardiac shadow in total anomalous pulmonary venous drainage is known as figure of 8 sign cottage loaf sign and snowman appearance biomarker useful in the evaluation of aortic dissection 1 d dimer 2 troponin 3 soluble st2 4 b type natriuretic peptide correct answer 1 d dimer though several biomarkers have been evaluated in aortic dissection only d dimer is considered clinically feasible it is markedly elevated in aortic dissection cut off value of 500 ng per ml can be used to rule out aortic dissection with a negative likelihood ratio of 0.07 within the first 24 hours those with younger age thrombosed falls lumen without ulcer like projections and short dissection length were likely to have false negative d dimer values wrong statement about neoatherosclerosis one caused by chronic inflammation in neoindimal proliferation within a coronary stent to disruption of neoindima can cause thrombotic occlusion three lower prevalence in drug eluting stents four occurs earlier in drug eluting stents correct answer three lower prevalence in drug eluting stents neoatherosclerosis was noted in 31% of drug eluting stent lesions and 16% of bare metal stent lesions in the cv path stent registry of 406 neoatherosclerotic lesions from 299 autopsies mean implant duration was 1.5 years in drug eluting stents and 6.1 years in bare metal stents in that study adverse health effects of partially hydrogenated vegetable oils are thought to be due to 1 trans fatty acids two mono unsaturated fatty acids three poly unsaturated fatty acids four saturated fatty acids correct answer one trans fatty acids trans fatty acids cause inflammation and calcification of arterial walls they also inhibit cyclooxygenase needed for conversion of arachidonic acid to prostacyclin a compound beneficial for the vascular tree total trans fat intake was associated with all cause mortality coronary heart disease mortality and total coronary heart disease in a meta analysis wrong statement about fetal circulation one ductus venosus has a higher oxygen saturation than left atrium two eustachian valve directs inferior vena cava blood to the right ventricle three only 12% of the blood ejected from the right ventricle reaches the lungs 4 45% of the combined ventricular output is delivered to the placenta correct answer 2 eustachian valve directs inferior vena cava blood to the right ventricle eustachian valve directs inferior vena cava blood across the patent foramen ovale into the left atrium saturation of blood in ductus venosus is 80 to 90 percent, while that in the left atrium is only 65 percent saturated in the fetus. This is because the lungs are not functional in the fetus. Blood in the ductus venosus is that from the umbilical vein returning after oxygenation from the placenta. In cyanotic congenital heart disease, some of the diameters of pulmonary arteries divided by the diameter of the aorta is known as one Nakata index. 2 magoon ratio 3 wilkins score 4 none of the above correct answer 2 magoon ratio two important measures on the size of pulmonary artery are the magoon ratio and the nakata index nakata index is the sum of the cross sectional area of the pulmonary arteries divided by the body surface area nakata index was initially described as pulmonary artery or pa index by nakata and colleagues These indices are useful in predicting likelihood of successful single stage repair. Wilkins echocardiographic score is for the assessment of mitral valve suitability for balloon mitral valvotomy in mitral stenosis. Wrong statement about left ventricular non compaction. One characterized by shallow trabeculations. Two most involved region is the apex. 
3. Genetic transmission in 30 to 50 percent. 4. Notch pathway is affected. Correct answer 1. Characterized by shallow trabeculations. Non compaction of left ventricle is often classified as a cardiomyopathy and is characterized by abnormal deep trabeculations, which is more at the apex. It was thought that embryological arrest of normal endomyocardial morphogenesis was the cause of non compaction, but some authors have disputed this theory. Important J wave syndromes are early repolarization syndrome and Brugada syndrome. J wave is mediated by 1. Transient outward potassium current ITO. 2. Slow component of delayed rectifier potassium current IKS. 3. Fast component of delayed rectifier current IKR. 4. Inwardly rectifying potassium current IK1. Correct answer 1. Transient outward potassium current ITO. J wave is mediated by the transient outward potassium current ITO. It has been suggested that arrhythmias associated with early repolarization, Brugada syndrome, hypothermia and those occurring in the acute phase of ST elevation myocardial infarction are linked to abnormalities in ITO mediated J wave. Modified Blalock toxic shunt is 1. End to side anastomosis of subclavian artery to a pulmonary artery. 2. Side to side anastomosis of main pulmonary artery to iota. 3. Side to side anastomosis of subclavian artery to a pulmonary artery using a conduit. 4. Anastomosis of superior vena cava to right pulmonary artery. Correct answer Side to side anastomosis of subclavian artery to a pulmonary artery using a conduit. In classic Blalock toxic shunt, the subclavian artery is divided and anastomosed to the pulmonary artery as an end to side anastomosis. In modified Blalock toxic shunt, a Gortex graft is used to connect the subclavian artery to the pulmonary artery. In Davidson shunt, a Gortex graft is used to connect ascending aorta to main pulmonary artery. Glen shunt connects the superior vena cava to right pulmonary artery. Schematic diagram of modified Blalock toxic shunt in a person with right aortic arch and tetralogy of fallow. Complication of fondant procedure 1. Plastic bronchitis 2. Protein losing enteropathy 3. Heart failure 4. All of the above 5. None of the above Correct answer 4. All of the above Heart failure was the mode of death in 34% in a series of 600 adult fondant survivors. Arrhythmia or sudden death was the reason in 24%. Protein losing enteropathy is an important complication of fondant circulation. Atrioventricular wall regurgitation is often associated with ventricular failure and it can be progressive. Pleural effusion, chylothorax and plastic bronchitis are important pulmonary complications associated with fondant circulation. Predisposition to thrombosis and thromboembolism are also well known. It contributed to 7.9% of the late deaths in one study. Gold standard for myocardial viability 1. Systolic thickening of myocardial segment on echocardiography 2. Absence of late gadolinium enhancement on magnetic resonance imaging 3. Preserved metabolic activity on positron emission tomography. 4. Myocardial scar detected on multi detector computed tomography. Correct answer 3. Preserved metabolic activity on positron emission tomography. Preserved metabolic activity on positron emission tomography is considered the gold standard in myocardial viability assessment. Segmental thickening and absence of scarring detected by other imaging modalities are also useful indicators of viability. Wrong statement about coronary subclavian steel syndrome. 1. Occurs after CABG using left internal mammary artery. 2. Diversion of blood flow from coronary circulation to exercising left upper limb. 3. High grade stenosis or occlusion of left subclavian artery distal to the origin of Lima. 4. Can manifest with angina. 
correct answer three high-grade stenosis or occlusion of left subclavian artery distal to the origin of lima coronary subclavian steel syndrome occurs when there is a high-grade stenosis or occlusion of left subclavian artery proximal to the origin of lima cardiovascular manifestation of coronary subclavian steel syndrome could be angina myocardial infarction malignant arrhythmias or heart failure cerebral symptoms can occur due to steel from the cerebral circulation through the vertebral artery which of the following is not a usual feature of acute aortic regurgitation one long and loud diastolic murmur two mitral valve preclosure three peripheral signs of ar not seen four diastolic mitral regurgitation may occur correct answer one long and loud diastolic murmur the classical decrescendo early diastolic murmur and peripheral signs of chronic aortic regurgitation are not features of acute ar an early diastolic murmur if heard is usually softer and shorter in acute ar high left ventricular diastolic pressure causes mitral valve preclosure but when the left ventricular diastolic pressure becomes very high in severe acute ar mitral valve reopens in late diastole causing diastolic mitral regurgitation which was the phase 3 trial of selexipac a drug for treatment of pulmonary hypertension one taste trial two prami trial three griffon trial four vital trial correct answer three griffon trial taste trial was thrombus aspiration during st elevation myocardial infarction Prami was preventive angioplasty in myocardial infarction. Vital trial was on role of vitamin D in cardiovascular disease. Wrong statement about third heart sound. One in mitral regurgitation, S3 need not indicate left ventricular dysfunction. Two, S3 occurs just after the opening of the atrioventricular valve. Three, it is due to rapid acceleration of transmitral blood flow as the ventricles fill. Four, it corresponds in timing to shortly after the peak of the early diastolic E wave of transmitral flow. Correct answer: three. It is due to rapid acceleration of transmitral blood flow as the ventricles fill. Third heart sound occurs in early diastole due to rapid deceleration of transmitral blood flow as the ventricles fill. Takayasu arthritis is an inflammatory disorder affecting aorta and its major branches. Takayasu was one vascular surgeon, two ophthalmologist, three physician, four cardiologist. Correct answer: two ophthalmologist. Takayasu was an ophthalmologist who noted characteristic fundal arteriovenous anastomosis. in a young female in 1905 and published it in acta of the ophthalmic society of japan in 1908 onishi and kagosha described similar cases associated with absent radial pulses in the same year